What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Rage and Run Review. I got a review for you. Last Tuesday, I watched Trainwreck, and Trainwreck is a film that actually came out last month on July 17th. I finally got around to watching it, mainly because I heard a lot of really good reviews from my gal pals. A lot of my female friends went to go watch it. They said it was really good, it was really funny, and that I had to go check it out. Now, originally, I wasn't planning to watch this film, and then, after hearing so many good reviews about it, I decided to check it out, especially after finding out that it is a film directed by Judd Apatow. I'm a huge fan of Judd Apatow's work. I love 40-Year-Old Virgin. I love Knocked Up and uh, a lot of his other productions that he didn't direct such as uh, Forgetting Sir Marshall and Superbad are hilarious. So I'm a big fan of his work and so Judd Apatow, uh, he directed train wreck but he didn't write it actually he actually um, was a producer and director but Amy Schumer who stars in this film as the main lead she wrote it so what I got out of this was that it felt like a female version of knocked up it was kind of like knocked up from the female perspective which actually makes this film kind of unique in a way because um, there aren't too many of these type of raunchy crude romance comedies out there uh, told from the female perspective so this one kind of opened my eyes to this this um, subgenre uh, and I actually thought it was pretty funny it was pretty good I, I won't say that it is as crazy funny as 40 year virgin and knocked up but it is still very funny you get that um, standard Judd Apatow brand of humor but then I feel that most of what got put into the film was really from Amy Schumer not just from her starring in the role and acting out the character but also um, from all the dialogue that was written by her she is after all the writer of the film and because of that just like what I said you get a female version of Knocked Up now with regards to the humor it's you know it's a Judd Apatow production a lot of crude a lot of raunchy humor uh, but I find that a lot of the humor in this film is not really like bursting gut busting funny funny I find that it's a lot of it's um awkward funny like there's not really a punchline, you're just waiting for reactions because the dialogue is just awkwardly funny. It's, it's almost like unintentional to be funny, but it just ends up being funny uh, because of the, the reactions that it, it, uh, that it creates from, um, from the cast members. So I find a lot of that type of humor takes place in, in this movie and not a whole lot of punchline humor that we get from, for example, 40 Year Old Virgin and uh, Knocked Up. So I felt that um, while it is funny, it kind of plays out as somewhat of a weak point in the film, uh, mainly because maybe Amy Schumer's style of comedy is very different from what I'm used to, especially from a Judd Ap Apatow production, all right? Now, of course, as a Judd Apatow production, you get um, your typical and standard scene of awkward, um, an, an awkward sex scene. I mean, they have to have a scene like that. And it is pretty funny. It involves John Cena, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, of course, but it is another one of those scenes where they're getting it on, but uh, stuff happens or stuff doesn't happen. And um, <laughs> it is pretty funny. But like I said, as a Judd Apatow production, you can expect to see certain types of things. And what he really does is that he takes a very serious human issue and spins it into um, hilarious comedy and that's what you can expect from this it is pretty funny um, you have very real characters I find that these characters are very relatable which is great because they're very well written characters I just find that um, it's it could have been more funny had it been written by, for example, maybe uh, Evan Goldberg or Seth Rogen or maybe even Judd Apatow himself, uh, it is written by Amy Schumer and maybe that's what we need for a film like this. We need to have it told from the female perspective to really get the, um, uh, I, I guess, make this this uh, more of a credible story. Because if you don't already know what the story is, it's, it is a rom romantic comedy, but it is a film where you have a... a a main lead, a female main lead played by Amy Schumer who plays um, Amy and she's like this serial hookup dater. That's all she likes to do. She just likes to hook up and that's about it. She doesn't like to commit. And then finally you bring in Bill Hader and then he's he's a genius on this film, alright? He, he's the best part about this film. Um, and 
they fall in love and then they go through all the problems that uh, they would typically go through and that's why Amy Schumer's character Amy is so afraid to get into relationships because uh, because of all the problems that happen um, when being committed to somebody all right so that's what this film is essentially about in a nutshell and of course you have some emotional moments you have some very personal um, issues that need to be worked out but at the end of the day this is a very real story which has a lot of um, crude comedy in it. I think a lot of some of the comedy is actually quite brilliantly written. Um, it is kind of different from your standard Judd Apatow fare, but for the most part, it's very, very entertaining. And uh, you should check it out. You should check it out while it's still in the theaters. I checked it out late, uh, but if it's still in the theaters and you're into this genre, go check it out. Bill Hader is great. He's very, very likable in this movie. And I find the fact that he's playing a very serious character makes it even funnier. Okay? So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. I'm going to give this film a 6.5 out of 10. Alright? And um, it was a lot of fun. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Stu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Girl, make sure that... Uh, the costume isn't really, really green, and it's not animated. All right, and obviously that's a uh, that's a bit of a um, a 